Welcome back. The Minnesota State men's basketball team is coming off a thrilling buzzer beater win to head to this year's Elite Eight in the national tournament. I'm here with the hero himself, Elijah Hayes Camp. Elijah, just take me through um, all the emotions that has kind of been throughout this last week. Oh boy. Um, <clears throat> I would say after I hit that shot, it was probably the best moment I've ever had playing basketball. And you know, just it's just a lot of emotions. Uh, I think I, I told my team as I kind of blacked out after I just ran around and did all that crazy stuff. And then I don't think it fully hit me until the next day what actually happened. And I had all friends and family hit my phone up. And it was just a cool moment and one that I'll remember forever. Sports Center, top play, yeah. um, you know, I'll. How many times have you gone back and kind of looked at that uh, that moment? I've watched it quite a bit. It's a pretty surreal, special moment. Um, I mean, I was just watching all different types. I was watching my parents' reaction in the stands, watching my friends' reactions. It was just such a special thing for me and for them, and I'm just glad. In the end, I'm glad we won and we're still playing. And take me through uh, kind of that entire play and how it transpired. I know. Malik was saying that he, he told you ahead of time, hey, be ready for uh, you know this ball. Yeah, so so they missed the free throw, and Malik did tell me that. But um, I was kind of expecting Malik or Justin or Kyrie to take that last shot because that's who I would want to take that last shot. And they sent like two or three guys at Malik, and he made a very unselfish play and found me, and I just I just shot it up there and went in. When you look at this team heading into the Elite Eight now, you guys are the top seed. What's going to make the Mavericks so difficult to uh, beat in this tournament? I think just our experience. Uh, we're an older veteran team, and I think that's been what's been uh, helping us all year and getting us all these wins. And I think a big advantage is that me and Dylan Peters have played in this venue before. Three years ago at uh, our previous school, we played in the Ford Center in Evansville, and we lost in the first round. So we're we're not going back to losing the first round this time. We're uh, planning to make it all the way. When you look at this first matchup in the Elite Eight against Fair State, what's uh, it really going to come down to? I think just defending. You know, they play a lot like us. They like to run. They score a lot, and uh, I think we're going to have to really rely on our defense, which. We have been in the postseason. Our defense has been incredible, and I anticipate us to keep that going. Defensively, you mentioned um, it's really kind of picked up here in the postseason. That game against Missouri State, not a lot of points scored, but just um, you know, for your defense to step up when it mattered most, how encouraging is that heading into these uh, final games? It's really encouraging. Uh, it, it makes us you know, realize that we can really lock in defensively if we want to. Uh, Northwest is a great team, and we held them to, I think, 42 points. And so that just means we can do that against just about anybody. Job's not done yet. Um, what's it going to take for the Mavericks to come away with a national title? We're just going to have to continue to play, to play our best basketball. I think we've done that ever since the conference tournament, and I have full confidence that we're just going to keep that going. Thank you so much. We'll Thank be right you. back.